Hey guys, today I want to talk about data integration. Now, this was a question that was asked to me on an interview I took a while back. And today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what this actually is. All right, so data integration is when you combine data located in different sources and provide users a unified view of the data. Now, in order to paint a clear picture of this, Let's look at a picture. So let's say you're a developer within the workplace and you're pretty much just working on the development of the application. Well, it's very important to know that you're not the only one working on an application. There are different people in different departments who are all working on different parts of this application in order to make sure that it runs properly. You have a BA, uh, business analyst, you have a project manager, as well as a group of other people who are working together in order to get the job done. The next thing I want to talk about is this thing called the software development life cycle. Now what that is, it's a set of steps that a team would take in order to make sure that they build a correctly functioning application. So with this entire process, there are many people that are going to be on this team and they are working on different parts of the construction of this application. So if you see at the top here, the first thing that we have are the requirements. Now, when it comes to the requirements, um, this basically means that there's going to be an initial assessment of the application. Um, you want to figure out exactly what is going to be going into this application. Why is this application being built? Um, you basically just want to figure out what will go into the application. And then after that, we have this thing called the design phase. And the design phase is basically a phase that specifies the user's requirements such as the deadline for this project to be completed um, another thing would be the system design uh, another thing is just the structure of the application how the user wants their application to look and and that and that's pretty much it as far as design goes Another thing I want to talk about is the implementation. Now, if you're a developer, you know exactly what this is. It's basically the portion of the life cycle where the developers would go in and start writing the code that would build this particular application. Pretty simple. The next step is verification. Verification is mostly handled by a testing team, but it also can be handled by a development team as well. But the verification basically consists of writing tests to make sure that the application is running properly. That's pretty much what it consists of. Um, so it pretty much just ensures that the application works as expected. And then we have the maintenance phase down here. So if there are any bugs or any defects that are in the application, um, there's a specific team to work on that. More than likely, it would be the development team who have handled the implementation. But this is just used to fix up anything that could go wrong with the application. All right. So another thing I want to talk about is that data integration is usually about teamwork. Well, it is about teamwork. It's about people from different um, people in different roles who are working together in order to make sure that the project is constructed the right way now what I have here is just a couple of data integration tools and these are some of the tools that I've worked with in my career and just wanted to share some examples of some data integration tools now as I said before when it comes to data integration it's mostly about a group of people that are going to be working together in order to make sure that this project is going to produce the results that the user wants now I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with GitHub and GitHub is basically just a web-based Git repository hosting service and it handles version control and source control management 
and it's something that developers use um, in order to make sure that their project is well it's basically used to make sure that the project can be shared especially if you're working on a very large project so I'm sure you guys have seen this whether it be in college or more than likely uh, in in the workplace you'll definitely see this and it allows different members of the team to integrate and work on this project pretty much well pretty much just the developers but um, that's pretty much what github is now another thing is slack now what this is this is a team messaging application so it's basically an application where people in different parts of the team can work together in order to make sure that information is being sent to the right people so let's just say you're a developer and you have a question about how um, a specific um, issue is written or a story is written um, you have the ability to reach out to a BA and learn more about what they actually want within this application so let's just say you have some te some specifications in order to fix an issue but you're not too clear or is not technical enough for you to, to for you to really understand what they want and you have the ability to reach out to them through this team messaging application all right so another thing I want to talk about is pivotal tracker and pivotal tracker is basically just an agile project management tool that enables real-time collaboration um, I've worked with this before and what it is it's an application that um, is basically a place where everybody who's working on the team to, can go in and check on the progress of the application pretty much and then last I just want to talk about quality center quality center is basically just a test management tool that enables communication among different stakeholders on a project such as the BAs, the developers, testers, etc. So, just remember, if you're ever asked during an interview, have you ever worked with data integration, ask yourself this question. Have I ever worked on a project where various members of the team contribute to the overall construction of the application? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next one.